yeah. just masters in mechanical design engineering uh, you're a teacher <laughs> i was a teacher uh-huh. i am a teacher at it uh-huh. in australia most of the teachers are friendly even in yeah. our university that they're mostly friendly mostly yeah. mostly not all i had my thesis in my third semester and that was my favorite period of time i would say Yep. Because there's no subjects to study, there's no assignments, there's no exam. The rules and regulations in Australia is dynamic like a water. It keeps yeah. changing every day. Hundred percent. Hi guys, hi. hello and welcome back to another vlog. This is Caps Vlog with Varun in RMIT University. But he's actually not from RMIT University. He came because of this guy. Me. We just shot a video of RMIT vs Swin 1, so you can watch it. Maybe we have uploaded it already before this video. So in this video, we're going to talk about his course. His yeah. course and um, it's going to be basic stuff. Not going to be, you know, much, a lot. Just whatever you feel like, whatever the yeah. honest communication which we can do. Um, so what is the course again? Master's. It's Master's in Mechanical Engineering Science, specialized in Mechanical Engineering. Yeah. It's Master's in Mechanical Design Engineering? Uh, right? Yeah, Design is like the major. Yeah, it's not yeah. The Master's in Mechanical Engineering, it's Design Engineering. It's is the Mechanical Design Engineering, it's clubbed together. What's the difference? So Mechanical Engineering is mostly your study about operations and all that. But in Mechanical Design Engineering, you deal with the design stuff. You learn how to do the safety test and all that with the backed up with your ma- mathematical calculations okay hmm. makes sense okay yeah. so let's go for it so the first it's before going to the post the first point why australia i mean australia was not my choice canada was my first option you like yeah. cold weather <laughs> i mean i had some other plans but then uh, my offer letter was it got uh, rejected because of covid and all that and then Australia was the immediate backup option for me to take, a, take it up. Okay. So with no other choice, I had to take up this country. Yeah. Mm. But then I love it. No regrets. Next point. Why Swinburne University? Why Swinburne? The course structure. It's really good for my interest and uh, it aligns with my future prospect as well. Mm-hmm. So it has very good scope for design engineering and uh, the professors are extremely good. And they've got uh, industrial experience as well. Like they would be having industrial experience right now and they teach you with that experience oh. based on the latest updates and all that. So like working in yeah they'll be working in industry and they'll have a teach. research project and then they teach the students three boxes yeah hmm. and also teacher? the fees yeah you be a teacher <laughs> i was a teacher uh-huh. i am a teacher right now uh-huh. i teach uh, mechanical engineering to bachelors as well oh we'll yeah. talk on that okay <laughs> so now comes the course yeah. it's gonna be basic five things First thing is, what's the fee structure of this course? What's the affordability? So, I would say it's not that expensive compared to other universities. But in Swinburne, I had like 14,200 per semester for the first three semesters. And then 15,500 for the last semester. So, it's a four semester course. Four semester, two, two years course, yeah. Right. And, and the fees is always changing. So, make sure to you know check yeah. the website to have a better overview. Every year it increases. Every year, so, yeah. I got this two, two years before. And right now, it's uh, it's gone up. The next point is, how are the lectures of this course in your uh, course? Had a, I would say I had very good experience, mm-hmm. except one or two in one or two semesters again. Yeah, so the experience was uh, not too bad. It was actually great. Yeah, they're friendly and they are understandable. If you are uh, caught up with some important stuff, they do give you excuses uh, to submit the assignments late with prior permission. And in case of you know, if it's a serious situation, they do consider that. So it's not like too strict. And even in case, worst case scenario, they wouldn't mind. You know, mm. they're not that strict. Yeah. That's but, good. But they do have, have standards. You'll have to made up their standards. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to back up with the evidence. Makes sense. And they are really sweet and friendly, I would say. Most of them are friendly. Yeah. Yes. In Australia, most of the teachers are friendly. Even in yeah. our university, that they're mostly friendly. Mostly. Yeah. Mostly, not all. Mostly, yeah. yeah. It's not like a teacher versus student learning. It'll be like a, a mentor teaching you. Yeah. We sit in a round table format. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's more like that. Makes sense. Yeah. The next point is so this is the major core point of the video. Uh-huh. You can talk on this broadly. Okay. to give the better opinion to the students. What's the course structure of this course? What's the like finance? Okay. And all? So I think in um, my course, Masters of Mechanical Engineering Science in Mechanical Design Engineering, three semesters will be with credits of units like uh, you'll have to take up the course of uh, 12.5 or 25 credits based on your choice. Mm-hmm. And one full semester is dedicated to your master thesis. Mm-hmm. So I had my thesis in my third semester and that was my favorite period of time, I would say. Yep. Because there's no subjects to study, there's no assignments, there's no exam, uh-huh. there's nothing to submit. So it's just for the one full semester, you're working on a major project. Oh, it's a thesis. It's actually a major project. It's a, actually a major project. And I did that with an industry of Australia. 
So that was an industrial based uh, thesis or a master project. So that was like the most easiest one. Also, it's difficult at the same time. But as long as you follow up with the literature, writing part of it and getting the results, it's too good, I would say. Mm-hmm. And the other three semesters are filled with subjects, assignments, exams and all that. How are the assignments are? Assignments, I would say, except for one subject which I had in the last semester, all other subjects were really easy to me. So you need to write them out? or like Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, you'll have to back it up with your hand calculations, obviously, because it's design engineering. You need hand calculations to show but yes, actually your design is right as per the software results or uh, theoretical research and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't have to type it everything. You can put it as a screenshot or as a proof of evidence that you've done your hand calculations. So assignments are more like that. Yeah. Okay. But if you're able to show it in the word, in the computer writing format, that should be also fine. But I prefer hand calculation. And the people and the students and uh, the teacher relations, like the teachers were always replying to the problems. Yeah, they would definitely reply. Even on weekends, they reply to your mails if you have any doubts and all that. So that's not a big deal. Okay. Except for one subject, which I had a very hard time. So obviously, there's, there's, always, have, there's always yeah, a yeah. point. There's, there's always, always one bad apple in a yeah. dozen of good apples. It's there. not like a bad apple, but yeah. it's, it's always like there's a point <laughs> that you would like to, you know, okay, this is what yeah. has happened. But I had a very bad experience with one unit, I would say. Yeah, just but, one unit. But you passed it in the, in yeah, the last yeah. Place. I had it same. Yeah. I had one of the experience in one of the unit, but yeah, never the rest. Okay, so the last part of this um, thing is it's not the last, sorry, second last. What are the future pathways after doing this course a person can? Whatever you know, mm-hmm. that's a very good on okay. that you would like to mention. So, as long as you're smart enough to connect with people, you can get the job within six months of landing here with one semester of experience. Yeah. So with one semester of experience in design engineering, you can easily land a job. The only thing they test is your English skill. And the second one is how you think logically to deal with that problem. And uh, even in the job interviews, they don't see your marks and all that. They just see how well you approach the problem with your design skills. So that's one important thing I would say. And uh, we've got the industry nights once in every six months. Uh-huh. So Swinburne it's like a, in Swinburne, yeah, it's like an industry night. Mm-hmm. So where they invite uh, multiple industries of Australia for uh, job recruitment. Yep. The sad part about that is that uh, most of them would be only for the permanent residents of Australia, not for international students. Uh, but if you go there, you'll get an idea of how to approach the company, what do the companies expect, and then you can reach out to them personally on LinkedIn. Okay. So through LinkedIn, and it's just reply. a talent matters. Yeah, they yeah, do they reply. do reply. Okay. Yeah. So they just check your English skills and your analytical skills to solve a particular problem. Yep. And obviously, in every job, they'll give you the training for that particular job and then they can just catch it up. Makes sense. Um, in that phase, I would like to know what's the roles that come up after doing this? For this course, you can work as a project engineer, mm-hmm. draftsperson, mm-hmm. design engineer. Mm-hmm. And then I would say, not very sure of all that because I've been dealing with these three sectors. But there are more, more often. There are definitely more options. But my interest is more of this, more into design and uh, project management. Makes sense. Yeah. So the last part of this video is that's actually the thing that people would like to know more on is ER. Mm. If a person wants to stay in Australia, if he wants to get permanent residency, what's the okay? So this information will be valid only for today yes. because this can definitely change tomorrow, as you know. Hundred percent. The rules and regulations in Australia is dynamic like a water; it keeps yes. changing every day. Hundred percent. Yeah. So as of now, my course is there in the yeah, list. short skilled. Uh, so yeah, short skill document. Yeah, the, sc- uh, the skill documentation list of Australia. So definitely, it comes in the category of getting the PR. So it's not that difficult, I would say, as long as you have a job. Yeah, so the sense. job is the, the job most is important thing. Yeah, at least minimum one yeah. year experience that you want, right? Yeah, minimum one year. So it's uh, better to get a job by the end of the first year of your studies, so that. By the time you finish your studies, you'll have one year of experience. And yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So that's why I highlighted but, saying that the first six uh, six months of uh, Australian experience, you can get it to LinkedIn and start applying for job. Okay. Yeah. The last one. <laughs> it's not a question. Okay. Don't get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> What's your personal experience of Australia, Swinburne, your course, and anything you, you would like to advise? And uh, also that you don't like about Swinburne University. Things I don't like, I don't remember anything like I don't like because I just go two or three days to uni in a week and that would be maximum four hours per day i might just go for two days so there's nothing like i wouldn't like something yeah so if you go to the uni every day maybe you find things that's not comfortable to you maybe but that didn't happen with me in the course curriculum there's nothing that happened there's nothing bad i would say and most of the mechanical engineering and civil engineering classes they're in the evenings in swinburne it's like that so all my classes were in the evenings after six so it it will be like usually from 6 30 to 9 30 in the evenings and that will be chilled and relaxed yeah makes sense and the 
uh, any other experience that you t- any advice for the students who are going to join the course? Yeah, you can definitely join the course. So this master's in mechanical engineering science with design, it's more of mathematics and uh, calculations. Like if you're interested in fluid mechanics, strength of uh, mechanics, dynamics of machines and all that, this would be an ideal choice for you. A choice for you. But still, again, uh, it comes with a lot of calculations. So it's better that you take up the course only if you're interested because assignments are difficult and uh, it keeps getting tougher as you go on to the next sem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this was Varun. Thank you so much for two no, videos Varun. and two videos. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm mentioning his Instagram just coming up here. Make sure to message him if you have any questions for this course or any other questions related to his university. Whenever you get time, please make sure. Sure. You that will be my pleasure. To the yeah. questions. And you can also comment down below any questions. He may come back to the same video and you know reply to the, those comments. And my Instagram is also in the description. If you want video, video on any other course, and this time we covered Swinburne University. So <laughs> any other university that you want, just... Keep us posted. We'll definitely discover and cover those topics as well. Like, share and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye.